And also, as usual, I'm really shy to film this. Let's go. Without even exaggerating, I really feel like this month's challenge kind of changed my life. So all in one month, I feel like this challenge really just reset my life and really got my healthy habits going, which is crazy. And I was like, whose abs are those? Cause they're not mine. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really excited to be bringing you guys a new spin challenge video. My last one was super, super well received. A lot of people watched it more than I ever even thought could happen. Um, so I'm like, okay, people wanna see spin challenges, I'll give you more spin challenges. Um, so before we get into the details of this one, cause I am gonna shake it up a bit, um, I just wanna say that if you're new to my channel, if you're new to watching my videos, hi, my name is Zoe. Um, I make videos about fitness like this and also just stuff about um, millennial living. So like living on your own, apartment stuff. Um, yeah, so be sure to check out my other videos. And of course, be sure to check out my previous spin challenge if you haven't watched it already. So one thing you can do to get through this video a little bit faster because I do tend to talk a lot is I'm gonna put a map of the video in the description bar so you can skip ahead to the parts that interest you or you can click the little gear down below and watch this video at 1.25, 1.5, or even two, which apparently, someone commented on my last video and was like, I watched it at two speed, it was perfect, so. So last challenge, we did 30 spin classes in 30 days, and it was really intense, um, but it worked, like I got really good results from the challenge, and I also felt amazing. Now, that was really good, and I, I'm not saying it's not doable, but I don't think it's as realistic, um, so I'm gonna shake up this challenge a bit and also I'm gonna bring in some new goals So in the last video my goal was really about my body and the way that my body looked I wanted to like see definition in my stomach and I wanted to like start working towards a sort of goal body But if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I spent the last five months on exchange um, Yeah, shut up about it Zoe like we all know um, But yeah, so you can imagine I was just like drinking wine um, eating and like not taking care of my body so I'm not really in a point right now where I'm like okay let's go 30 spin class 30 spin classes in 30 days like I'm more in a point where I need to get back into healthy habits so that's what this challenge is gonna be it's gonna be to build healthy habits so the point of this challenge is to do five classes a week for 30 days so the difference is in the last one, doing 30 in 30 days means I could have done three in one day and then waited three three days and then like, you know what I mean? You can really stack your classes and the point was just like about volume. It was about taking a lot of classes. For this one, it's really about going to the gym five, four? Five days a week, which in turn is gonna help you create a habit. So you could do the challenge for 21 days because that ends up being three weeks So and it takes 21 days to build a habit, but we don't like that. We want to do 30 days because it sounds nicer, for real. That's the main reason it sounds nicer. So it's the beginning of August when I'm filming this right now. And my original plan was to start on the 1st of August, but I had a little slip up. Oh my God. I was trying to artsily film my like exit of the metro into the B-cycle and I f fell on the escalator stairs. Like it really hurts, I want to cry. Yeah, basically on my way to the very first spin class of the challenge, I fell and hurt my knee really bad. So as in the last video, I am gonna show you guys my sort of body update starting at the beginning, um, middle and end because it's just nice to have like a sort of visual on your progress. But uh, like I said, body image really for me isn't the point in this video. It's about making habits. How am I gonna go about making those habits? Well, for me, the biggest thing is scheduling. So at the beginning of every week, I'm gonna sit down and schedule my spin classes. Um, if you go to a gym that you don't need to book your spin classes in advance, that's okay. I really just recommend that you act as if you do. So look at your gym's timetable and you say, oh, I wanna go to this spin class. And you can do this challenge, you don't have to do spin. You can do bar, you can do anything else. Um, but just look in advance and say, okay, I'm gonna do this workout class this day and write it down in your agenda. So that's what I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna go look at the calendar for my gym and I'm gonna look at my personal work schedule and like any like plans I have for the next week and I'm gonna do my schedule one week at a time. So with all that being said, I think that's enough rambling on my part. Uh, let's Hello. get into it. I'm out of focus. I have my computer 
and my agenda in front of me and I'm gonna I'm gonna look at my gym's online um, calendar and I'm gonna put everything into my agenda. Hi guys, I just got back um, from spin class and I'm gonna do the starting point sort of body update. I'm not gonna do measurements, I'm gonna do it exactly like last time where I'm just gonna talk about um, how I look and how I feel. Um, I do wanna say that I've already, since I've been back from exchange, noticed like a big sort of de-bloating because I've been eating pretty healthy. Um, so that's really good. So I'm starting at like a pretty good point, like I'm pretty satisfied with where I'm starting with. But um, I mean, obviously there's room for like fitness improvement but as usual it's not about how you look it's about how you feel blah 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 so let's do this and also as usual I'm really shy to film this so let's go I'm gonna do it in the mirror um so yeah and then I'll do it on the side after okay so as um usual I haven't eaten anything yet um also I have my period right now so I might be like a little bit extra bloated but to be honest I'm liking how my stomach's looking just as usual like can I say as usual one more time this is my problem area on the bottom that I really want to work on and the the big problem is after I eat that's when this um really puffs up so that's really what I want to work on um up here you don't really see any definition I can kind of feel it if I touch it um that it's like maybe starting a bit but um, yeah, that's what we're working with. I don't have like the biggest butt, so maybe it'll grow through working out. That's how my thighs look, my arms, little chicken arms. Yeah. We'll see um, throughout the challenge how this goes. I'm gonna update at the halfway point and at the end point as well. Here I am. Finished day one and we got our little smoothies. Good. It's day three. I did two classes yesterday. It's 6:30 in the morning. I'm sore and I'm tired and I'm not down. Hi guys, so it's Friday and if I'm being completely candid with you guys, I slept three hours last night because I went out with my friends. Um, but I'm still going spinning. I'm doing a lunchtime spin and I just want to say I was just about to walk out the door and I realized like the only reason I'm going is because I set this challenge for myself. Otherwise, I would have just used the excuse of like, well, like I was out last night. I'm super tired. Like I don't need to go spinning. Like it's fine. So I just want to say like setting a challenge for yourself, like whether or not you're filming it, whether or not you're telling anyone about it, like setting a challenge and making that a goal means that no matter what, you're gonna stick to it. Like I have no choice but to go spinning today or else I fail my challenge and I don't wanna be a failure. So I really, really recommend like setting a challenge and a hard goal for yourself to ensure that you achieve it. That way, silly excuses like being a little bit hungover, being too tired, whatever, aren't gonna get in the way because I'm still gonna go to class. I'm probably not gonna perform my best, but at least I'm going and I'm gonna sweat a little bit and I'm gonna move my body, so. Let's do this, day five. Class, yeah, day five of week one, woohoo. Hi guys, so I am more than halfway through the one month challenge right now, so Basically, the challenge has been going absolutely amazingly. I feel like I've really created like a habit and a lifestyle for myself, and I'm super, super happy. I have been noticing some nice changes in my body that I'm very um, satisfied with. However, for the last week, I really want to kick it up a notch. Um, last week, the past week, um, I kind of ate really bad. I didn't really meal prep, um, and I was just eating out a lot and like, not only is it bad for your health, it's bad for my wallet, so I'm kind of like, ouch. So I wanna take you guys to the grocery store with me and show you how I meal prep, how I'm gonna meal prep for the end of this week and also the last week. Um, we're gonna buy some inexpensive, healthy groceries, so hopefully this will be helpful for you guys. Um, so to start, I need to make my list. I'm gonna share with you guys what is on that list and then we're gonna head to the grocery store. I like to get some things from the farmer's market and some things from the grocery store, so I'm gonna go to both, luckily, 
they're right next to each other. And uh, yeah, I also just wanna say, I eat the same thing every single day. Um, so if that doesn't suit you, don't follow this exact list, but this just makes it super cheap having the same thing every day. And I, it doesn't bother me. Like I enjoy eating the same thing every day. Um, I'm not that picky as long as it's cooked well. And all of these meals that I'm about to make, I already know that I really like. So yeah, it's basically, a, oh, I forgot to put tofu. Tofu also goes on the list, let's add it. It's basically a salad. Um, for lunch every day with tofu for protein and um, either pasta or salmon and um, vegetables for dinner. So the salmon and then the pasta helps balance out having too many carbs. I used to eat pasta every single night for dinner, but I am gonna get whole wheat healthy pasta. Um, and for breakfast, I either eat toast or I'm gonna make a smoothie. So that's what we're working with. That's gonna be the diet for the rest of the week. Um, so we'll be able to see how that works out. grocery store I feel like it took forever but I was really just taking my time um, so I'm gonna show you guys everything I got everything cost total of um, $50 wait 30 40 so technically it was 60 but it's because I bought this huge basil plant so without the basil plant it's $50 so $50 for a whole week of groceries um, is really amazing it's really not that expensive so I'm gonna show you guys what I got okay so we have Boston lettuce this is my favorite kind of lettuce I got these from the farmer's market, little cherry tomatoes. They taste so good. I got cucumbers from the farmer's market, also lemons from the farmer's market, and then everything else is from the grocery store. Oh, this is from the grocery store too. So we have garlic, sweet potato, bananas. Um, I got organic whole wheat uh, linguine. I couldn't find the exact ones that I wanted. I wanted the Ezekiel brand, but they didn't have. Um, so I'm gonna have to keep looking for that. I got sun-dried tomatoes, tofu, Salmon, I got three different frozen fruits, uh, strawberry, mango, and raspberry, and I got some chai tea, and this is my big basil plant that I got. I'm gonna try and make her grow inside. Um, the lady at the market said it will grow if you have a lot of sunlight, which I do, so that's gonna be so good in salads and in pasta, so I thought I'd give it a try. Whoa, 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 whoa. So I'm not gonna show you guys like a meal prep or anything because otherwise this video is just gonna be too long. But I just wanted to show that that's kind of what I'm gonna be eating for the next week. So the sweet potato is gonna be baked. The fish, I usually just fry it in the uh, frying pan with a little bit of olive oil. For salad, I just make a salad with the tofu. I fry the tofu up. Um, I do a really easy dressing of lemon juice and uh, olive oil. The lemons I drink every morning. I do warm lemon water every morning with half a lemon and the smoothies are gonna be for breakfast as well. So that's gonna be it. That's gonna be kind of like my healthy eating for the next week. So I'm gonna see you guys at the end of the next week at the very end of the challenge to see how everything comes together. Hi guys, so let's do the final body update. Um, I'm really excited because I'm wearing my new sports bra that I got myself um, as a present for finishing the challenge. I just got it today and I just put it on to film this. It's from Lululemon. It's the high neck energy sports bra and you'll see it when I show in the mirror. So let's do this body update. So yeah, that's the bra. Um, so this is the situation um, with my stomach. Oh yes, there we go, there's the good lighting. Okay, so if I flex, we can see um, kind of like some definition starting. Um, I feel it more than I see it. Like when I touch my abs, they feel stronger more than like I see it on me. Um, I do feel like I've gotten smaller through here. Um, however, um, my problem area has always been my lower stomach and I don't see that much of a change with it. So I really think this problem for me is coming from digestion or nutrition, so that's something I wanna look into. Um, however, doing these spin classes really, I, I really am noticing like more muscle in my stomach and a bit of either water weight loss or fat loss. I don't know the science, so I'm not gonna say like I lost a bunch of fat because I don't know what my fat percentage was, I don't know any of that. I'm really just going off how I look right now. I'm gonna talk about how I feel in a minute. Um, so that's it. That's from the side. Um, so we'll see in the side-by-side -side comparison. In terms of my legs, 
Um, one thing I've noticed is I feel like my butt is a lot like perkier. I really see it when I wear my Lululemon pants, but I feel like it, not necessarily bigger, but just like perkier. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's so funny to talk about, but yeah, and I feel like my legs are a bit more toned. They definitely feel good. And I feel like my arms are more toned. Like I'm not, okay. I have the chickenest arms ever. Like I have no arm strength, but I feel like my arms got a bit more toned um so very happy with how i'm looking and i can't wait to like keep progressing but yeah if i flex and there's certain lighting you can see i got like little baby abs so that's the body update hopefully um the shots were clear i'll be able to tell when i'm editing but uh yeah please be nice because it's um hard to like film that and uh put it on the internet but uh, I'm doing it to like be real. My body's not perfect. Um, there's days when I feel really happy about how I look and there's days when I don't like it. Um, and it's not easy to like film your problem areas. So um, I don't know, that's, that's, my, that's my spiel. Okay, so it's time to film the final closing segment of this challenge. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I've been putting it off for like a week just because I feel like I can't properly wrap up what this challenge this month has done for me, which sounds really cheesy, but um, without even exaggerating, I really feel like this month's challenge kind of changed my life um, in a super, super positive way. So just a reminder, this the goal of this challenge was to create healthy habits. And to the extent that it did that is in my life is just insane. And it's across not only fitness, but also my um, health like nutritionally but also my mental health it's just it's just been crazy so the goal I set for myself this challenge was to do five days a week of spinning so that's five spin classes a week one every day for five days um, it ended up being just because with my work schedule that I had to go a lot in the morning so I was waking up at 6 a.m. and going to a spin class at 7 now I think that is part of the reason why this challenge had such a positive impact on my life because waking up early is truly amazing and I would wake up early and my whole day would start by 8 o'clock I was like I had done my workout um, I had my lemon water and like I was good to go so if you want to see what my exact morning routine looked like for waking up early and going spinning, I did make a video of that during this challenge. I will link it down below. Um, I really like that video. I think it turned out really good. So be sure to check it out. I also give some tips on waking up early. But this challenge, what did it do for me? I just felt so like healthy and routine and I it really made me love working out and love taking care of my body from the first week. So. I thought that five spin classes was gonna be a lot. I thought it might be a bit tedious. I thought it would be hard to do. But when I did it in the morning, it just breezed by. And so from Monday to Friday, every day, I would go spinning um, at 7 a.m. And the reason I did Monday to Friday was because I worked on the weekend. So I really needed to go um, during the morning. Eventually my schedule freed up a bit and even like on a free day I would just choose like for example today I have nothing on for the whole day I could have gone at noon I could have slept in I could have gone in the evening, but I just choose now to go at 7 a.m um, So this also transferred over into my eating I have been eating super clean lately and healthy um, You'll see or you saw already in this video that I did a, a switch and a grocery haul um, To be able to meal prep and stuff and that has carried on throughout pretty much the first week of the challenge and then I slipped up a little bit, um, but now I'm super motivated to eat healthy. I've been cooking more and I've also been baking more healthy um, like treats, which is insane. Um, so all in one month, I feel like this challenge really just reset my life and really got my healthy habits going, which is crazy. So I filmed um, the body update and there are a lot of changes in my body that I've seen, especially um, in my abs. My arms, when I looked at the footage, they don't look any different, but I do feel stronger. My legs definitely feel more toned, my butt a little perkier, like I said in the clip. Um, now my abs, you can really see it like when I flex. Um, I did a TRX class this morning and I was just wearing like this sports bra and I was like, whose abs are those? Cause they're not mine. Like it was crazy. Um, that was first thing in the morning. So when I do eat, it's still, um, like I, I'm not like Alexis Ren or whatever Instagram model. Like I don't have the stomach like that. Um, but it's only been a month. So if in one month we can see those kind of changes, both physical and 
you know, mental and lifestyle. Imagine after two months, after three, and I am fully, fully dedicated to keeping this going. This just got me so motivated. When I finished the first challenge, I was like, phew, okay, 30 spin classes done. I don't have to work out this intensely anymore because it was really intense. But this was super, super maintainable, so I wanna keep going. So I made this um, to help me out and be my guide throughout the challenge. Um, I am gonna make this available for you guys. I'm just gonna put it as a public Google Doc link. So that's gonna be linked down below. It's just a PDF if you wanna print it out. It says week one, two, three, four, and it goes Monday to Friday. And so you put a check mark every day um, that you complete a class. So the goal is to see five check marks a week. Um, you can see on it, I did some bonus classes. I was doing a bonus bar class every week to help with the toning very good um, so yeah I really recommend you guys print out if not this something like it because it's so satisfying to just check things off as you go so yeah guys like I said I don't think I can really express any more than what I've said how amazing this challenge was I really really recommend that you do it five classes a week is super doable but if you are a beginner and you don't feel like five is is uh, is manageable try four even three even two even once a week like anything is better than nothing and you can slowly build yourself up you could even do this challenge one class the first week two three and then four that's amazing then you've done however many spin classes that is in the month and that's better than nothing right I used to be a very all-or-nothing mentality I and that's why I would fail all the time I said in my last video I've never accomplished a fitness goal I've ever set until February of 2019 when I did that last video um, because I was all or nothing I would say I'm gonna work out every single day get those abs in a week like whatever and it was not realistic so I'd get mad at myself when I couldn't accomplish those goals and I would give up but that's not you're not gonna get anywhere but that's the thing is like once you start and you start feeling good because you've set realistic goals okay you've set realistic goals that you can actually achieve you feel good and you want to keep setting more. So I hope all of that made sense. Um, I, I think I'm going to make a video at some point talking about the why I used to fail at my goals and how I've learned to like achieve them now. So if that's something that would be interesting to you, give this video a thumbs up or let me know in the comments because um, that is something that I do want to talk about because otherwise this video would just be way too long. Um, so that's it. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Also, I already have my next challenge planned. I'm going to switch it over and stop doing spinning for a bit and I'm going to do bar classes. So I want to see how toned I can get my body, how flexible I can get. So I'm going to make a plan um, start that challenge in a few weeks so be sure to be subscribed so that you can see that video when it comes out also if you liked this video if you like the challenges please give this video a thumbs up it helps other people find this video and maybe it can be motivating and helpful for them too um, so I would really appreciate it if you just take two seconds to give this video a thumbs up that's all I have for you guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video bye